Thanks to social media and the Arab Spring, religious persecution in countries across the globe is getting more attention. It's an issue we're sure to hear a lot about in the general election for president, that's for sure. White House correspondent Jennifer Wishon is at the White House with more on the American woman who's tasked with monitoring the world's religious wrongs. Jennifer. David, her name is Susan Johnson Cook. She's a Baptist preacher from the Bronx who has her work cut out for her. President Obama tapped her to become the nation's ambassador at large for international religious freedom. She started the job less than a year ago facing a laundry list of trouble spots that's only continued to grow. Just this month, she was denied a visa to visit China. Susan Johnson Cook has been described as the Harriet Tubman for women in ministry. She's broken barriers, becoming the first female chaplain for the New York Police Department and the first black woman to be elected senior pastor of the American Baptist Churches of the USA. Before she became ambassador at large for international religious freedom, you could find her just off Wall Street, presiding over the Hour of Power, a lunchtime ministry she founded. The Wednesday after 9-11, People came in here physiologically, their eyes were big, there was fear all over them, and they left here, as the scripture said, a different way than they came in, glorifying and praising God. So to see that I was able to be used to bring healing and comfort and consolation to people, not just being the pastor of Wonderful Wall Street Wednesday, but really being thrust into becoming a pastor of the city of New York, is tremendous. I mean, it's humbling. She now plays pastor to the world. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> she says her rock is Jesus Christ. But as ambassador, she looks out for peoples of all faiths in every nation. Her role takes her on journeys across the globe through a maze of diplomatic landmines. Religious freedom provides a cornerstone for every healthy society. In this season of the Arab Spring, we must encourage the highly religious countries of the Middle East and North Africa to guarantee full equality under the law for all religious actors. Cook's job is to promote religious freedom, report to the president on the status of religious freedom in 195 countries, and call out countries of particular concern that are then subject to U.S. sanctions. She works under Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Around the world, authoritarian regimes abuse their own citizens. Violent extremists attempt to exploit sectarian tensions. And religious freedom is under threat from both quiet intolerance and violent attacks. The position was created in the 90s by legislation sponsored by Virginia Congressman Frank Wolf. He sees the office as a thermometer that helps identify America's friends and enemies. When a country has human rights and religious freedom, they're generally a democratic country. They're generally a country that you're not at war with. Uh, you're not arguing with, you're not fighting with. The U.S.-led wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and the Arab Spring have drawn more attention to religious persecution in the world. For this season of change to succeed, Coptic Christians must have the right to worship freely in Cairo, just as Shia must have their mosques, must never have their mosques destroyed in Bahrain. She's certainly operating on a volatile world stage. David Ambassador Cook tells me her ministry in New York City, working with people of different cultural and religious backgrounds, along with some missions work overseas, really helped prepare her for this job.